Hi, everybody. Welcome to And Here's Modi. We are in the studio with Isaac Mizrahi, which is just iconic. Mizra Mizrahi. Mizrahi. There you go. He Mizrahi. Wants, doesn't like the chi. He wants Well, Mizrahi. I like Mizrahi. If you're going to say it like it's spelled, it's Mizrahi. Yeah. Mizrahi. Mizrahi. He, 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 if you're quoting Beyonce, by the way. Okay. <laughs> no, no kidding. You know, I mean, I, that's, yeah, that's uh, an amazing song. Uh, yes. Okay, sorry. I do want some gay love over that. <laughs> oh, we, bravo. We, yeah. we went to Beyonce. We saw Beyonce. It was, ama you? it was amazing. My husband went and he said, I guess we're just old because he said, you know, I had to stand through the whole. That was the first thing he said. Oh. I had to stand through the whole. That was like, yeah, I can't go to shows. You have to stand up. Is he but, Jewish? No, he's oh, not. Oh, I'm surprised that no, I I Oh, oh that was Jews. judgy. Was I'm no, just kidding. No, I'm like kidding. I'm kidding. I'm just Jews, kidding. <laughs> Jewish people would complain about standing more than Well, no, he's, 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 he's Puerto Rican, so he's okay. practically oh, same Jewish. thing. Same yeah. thing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Jewish? Am I Jewish? Yes. No. No. Thank but you. But he is no. a good boy. No. Show him your tattoo. Oh, come on, Yella Tov. That's it. We're all Voila. There. Depends on who's asking. So we, <laughs> we, we're in the studio. I'm so happy. Hold on. We have to just first of all thank our sponsors, mm -hmm. A and H Provisions. Best kosher hot dogs in the world. Best glot kosher meats. Website is? Kosherdogs.net. And uh, Seth will always give you a tour. We love Seth. And um, 30% we, off. Thirty percent off when you use code Modi on your first purchase. Uh, next, Whites and Luxembourg, the law firm you want on your side, the law firm that not only does well. well, they do good. They're an amazing law firm doing amazing work and doing well, but they also do good. They're very philanthropic, and I'm actually having – uh, uh, tomorrow I'm in Casa Cipriani with Arthur, so I'm so excited for that. Mm -hmm. And thank you. And now we are with Isaac Mizrahi. I have to tell my first story about my Isaac, my, my first Isaac Mizrahi story. My, uh, someone got me tickets to see a one-man show. When you begin, to, when you start doing comedy, right? You yes. Start, people start to think maybe you should do a one-man show. Oh. So someone, which is not my 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 path. Um, Someone gave me tickets to go see your one man show, which was on Seventh Avenue. Yeah. And like, but it was before, called before the Greenwich House Theater. And now it's yes. called the uh, something street, Barrow Street Theater. It's called I, the Barrow I love that little was house. It's a cute little house. Mesmerized. You were, right? I was mesmerized. so good. <laughs> <laughs> I was he so good. Built a dress. That's right. While talking. That was crazy. He put and together, I sewed it. It was like, you know, when you go to like the, you see like acrobats and they spin plates yes. and they do like unicycle and there's like somebody balancing or whatever. That's what I did on that show. It was, it was the best thing in the world. I was <laughs> hysterical, funny, sweet. Really? The audience was cute. And, and he's just talking and it's natural. And you think you're in his living room. And while he's talking, he's sewing and pudding and and it's a dress that someone wore to the oscars or something i don't remember what it, no, it, it was, was an amazing story it was a big coat and then i told a story and i did sketches of like different people wearing and began clothes to and put it together got a cloth cut this and that while he's talking and boom a dress it was it was sort of like um it was sort of like trained monkey and you know how many of these dresses i had by the end of the run i did I'm that sure. show for like over a year I'm sure. wow. and you gave out a gift too i gave out marshmallow yes. um those delicious rice krispie treats because yes. people get you know you don't want their sugar to right last so that i gave, gave them, them sugar in the middle of the show that's an idea that's not a bad idea hey Hey, Whites <laughs> and Luxembourg, get them on the phone because that's already in that. You have to pay me. If you know. <laughs> I'll, I'll put your name on it. Exactly. We Listen, I'm learning. Uh, not, now that we're doing theater tours, things are yeah. important. Yes. Sugar so. level of air conditioning, which does not exist uh, in Europe. Well, no. It doesn't exist in Europe. And then they say it exists. So that's it's so ridiculous. Horrible. Oh, we'll change your room. And then they put you in another room and that room doesn't have air conditioning. And they say, oh, no, this one has air conditioning. The theater we performed in Paris, <laughs> they, 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 they say that they buy air conditioning like electricity and heat from the city so how it's crazy. it's not enough no and how can you buy air conditioning from the city it's called hvac you have to have your own system they don't okay? and uh, they say it never gets that hot it got hot the berlin shows were on fire we were literally flashbacks um it was so hot oh god theater. yes <laughs> oh, no and right. um and comfortable seats the seat can't be too comfortable no otherwise no, you're so to, otherwise they no. just if they have some place to rest their head you're out no it's so you're, true it's so true so sugar we should just write it when they come <laughs> in. Some well, sugar. of course listen like you know if they're a few in too it doesn't hurt 
Yeah. If they have a couple of glasses of wine first, they're yeah. very happy and they laugh at anything in any language. <laughs> yes. You know? yes. And the best is when you see somebody start to lose it and you know that they're like, they took, they took a gummy. Oh, right. And they, and they just like, they can't, they can't catch their breath. Well, now and I have a I question. I always point it out. Did you, in Paris, did you do the set in French? Do you speak French? No. Did you, what did you have, like an interpreter or something? No. We, like Mrs. We Maisel, like the marvelous show. Mrs. We Maisel? We sold out this show months ago right. in Paris. Okay. Four shows. Sold one of them in 15 minutes. We added one one day. Boom, boom, boom. And then we a third show. And this was right before the war broke out. Right. So oh, we God. land in Paris. Right. And like, are we doing a show? The, the theater said yes. Yep. It was, it's all fans, and they came from ah. Copenhagen. They wow, came from, from Berlin. They came from London. The reach from, of Moti, okay? The, Modi, the reach of Modi. Modi, Modi. Which I deserve. Moti, After giving Mizrahi, I deserve a Moti. Moti. But it's Modi. Modi um, of course. And Modi, they, they Modi. didn't speak English. No. They spoke, uh, when we are talking to a comedian, yeah, right, right. We, that's their English. And did you get laughs? So, being a veteran comic, you do your set with the cadence and the timing, and they understood where the laugh where they was. Where they had to laugh. Oh, good for the, and, oh. They, and it was amazing. It was real Mashiach energy. And yeah. it was right. And Isaac, I can't explain to you. I'm in the back of the theater watching everybody on their phone looking at the war. Watching of course. babies well, darling. decapitated. Oh my God. And then and the then lights like go off. And here's Modi. Oh, pretty. Literally. What do you yeah. do? What do you do? Because I have shows next week and I can't. I'm so scared. Quickly address it and move on. Right. My, my new line now is like, you know, it's um, people. Uh, I, I always talk about how we do fundraisers. And this is a fundraiser. So yeah. we're raising money. I was going to say, I was going to threaten the audience with Hatikva if they I did it. Oh, did you? No, I know. That's why I was going to say, if you don't laugh at me, I'm going to make you fucking sing Hatikva at the but end they like love Modi. It. Sing it anyway. No, 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 no. People were crying. I'm not singing Hatikva, huh? People, people were crying. It. Of course. Like maybe I will sing Hatikva. See how would a whore And I, I also am. said. I'll just do anything <laughs> to get people to cry. I'm such a whore. Okay, sorry. We're working. <laughs> <laughs> we loved oh, years. Okay, so that's where the first we? time I fell in love with you. Um, and oh, then, and, and Les Mizrahi. It was called Les Mizrahi. Is that what that was? Yes, that was. The, it was the show. best show ever. Thank you. It was such I, a good show. It was so good. <laughs> <I'm> so, <laughs> she likes when people say oh, wait, they're good. I'll, I'll even tell you the funniest story after that. This was all happening during the time where there was that scandal or or something with the with the 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 cup the the, the, um, the Boy Scouts. <gasps> right. And I, from that dinner, I remember I was on a high. I was like, oh my God, he's so talented. I got to do something else. Where did on you stage. grow up? Who are you? Like, I thought, how would we, were you not like, you weren't in Israel at this time? Or where I, did you, when did you come to? I came to America when I was seven. Okay. So we, right. so I, I we, we, there were scouts in Israel, Tufim, but in America, right. I'm, I'm not going to go to Boy Scouts. Um, okay. uh, and, well, I don't know, this is just a funny side story. But after your show, I went to meet my friends, and there was the guy that was in charge of leading the fight for gays being allowed to be in the, in the scouts. Right. I, James right. Dale. Bidiuk. I know him. Exactly. So I get to a dinner. I'm on a high. I'm saying, I just saw the best show in the world. And then they go, and they go to me, Modi, what do you think of the Boy Scouts? I said, I'd love one. <laughs> and it was, it did not land. It didn't? It You're didn't. Kidding. They were like all upset. And oh, I'm like, well, that's their problem. Ugh, they know, that's suck. their problem. Anyway. Exactly. And then the other thing that I'm obsessed with you, the, 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 the 5,000 black t-shirts that you did. Did I? Yes. 5,000 black t-shirts. You had for me. crazy story with black t-shirts. You told me that story too. That you were obsessed with black T-shirts, but you could never find one that you oh, like. Oh, yeah. Well, this is so true. And so you had like, I think it was like fifty or five hundred, whatever it was. You had them made. And yeah, oh, oh, I, I still do. This is made. This is a. I know it doesn't look it, but it's made. For it me. looks fabulous. I love Thank it. Thank you. And you can't. And people like the the people who know on my Instagram go, where can I get that long you sleeve? Because you can't get a long sleeve polo that is like chic, but right? You can't we, get them. You, we recently you found can't one, get we, them. We recently. Found found one on it's not at the store but lululemon has one online so that was not as good as this one okay, thing, i'm telling no, you that. of course not a good i would have found but it why, and then it's why too long or something or, i don't so know darling because i couldn't yeah. so so, <laughs> so like, uh, by the way money. one thing i taught leo is i buy shirts i buy whatever i want and then if it depends on the fabric elasticity and i bring it to a tailor 
Is there's he, a tailor on a Orchard ridiculous, Street. Why you have to do that? And then he cuts the length, right, brings this in, brings that up, and for, well, I'm for telling twelve dollars. Yes, I have a T-shirt the way I want it. Right, right, right. But you realize that most people like buy a T-shirt for twelve dollars. Bless them, and that's and they should be good. I believe that twelve dollar T-shirt should be cute. It should and be it good. Should be and, ready to and wear. Black T-shirts darling. one of the most important things. Uh -huh. They're in, not easy to find. They're not easy to find. No, they really are. And look at us. All, all mine are all vintage, though. All of my see? shirts are vintage. Yes. And you, like, hand wash them because you're ridiculous and you want to keep them forever, yeah. right? Hand wash them. Well, you wash them delicate cycle in a little bag or something. Sometimes. I'm giving you, I'm giving Sometimes. this to you. This is, I'm giving this to you, okay? Is this a called layup? Uh, yeah. You just take them and dump them. Yes. So you, you're not hitting yes. it. Yes. Um, well, now I have to talk to you. I was very to excited to do this podcast because I have to see, like, what kind of insanity leads you to like be you're a religious Jew, are you not? Like, I am I consider myself orthodoxy. Right. We keep the Sabbath in our own way. Um I so go So how school, do you I'm, darling I'm, I, is this what your podcast is about all the time? Because No, my podcast goes from wherever to from everything. I was raised like that. I was raised. I went right. to Yeshiva Flatbush yep. and my people we're not exactly orthodox, but they, you know, it was sort of this anomalous version of, you know, um, what's it called? Sephardic Jewry. Yes. And it was like, you know, they were all very religious and very, and like you learn every day of your life that if there's a stone on the ground, you see a homosexual, throw the stone at his head and kill him. I mean, that's in the Bible, darling. It's there. So how do you rationalize Okay. Being There's gay. Other things in the Bible that are more interesting. <laughs> no, of course, Love but it's your like, neighbor as but listen, yourself, Christians it's also too. In the no, Bible. I mean, like yeah. all every all religions are supposed to hate homosexuals. Mm -hmm. So I don't understand how they coexist, except in like fun, you know, rugelach recipes, which is why I love Jake Cohen. Yes, you know, because he's like, you know, he's wearing a speedo. Our roads on this fucking podcast. You and I, I, I don't know uh, age love differences, you, but you and I grew up in a time. Well, we're definitely. I'm definitely older than you. Okay, so. but not crazy older than me. We Maybe both not. grew up in a time yes. when we came. I didn't know I was gay till I knew I liked guys when okay. I was a kid, but I didn't know that was gay. Right. We thought gay was the flaming hairdresser that my mother right. went to. Yes. Jimmy yes. In, in the Five Towns at Capolini's. Mm -hmm. Who wore the, the shirt all like with the how do you call it? You have a phone number? It sounds like a good time. <laughs> I mean, see, I gave him a that's called a layup and he <laughs> slammed it. Darling, now here's the thing. So no, I'm just saying we didn't know. I I didn't know I, we thought that was gay. So I didn't know that that I so it was a different time. No, but wait a second. Does, it, does it matter? Does it matter? It's like, you know, because if they tell you you're supposed to hate homosexuals or artists, because they told us like no graven images. This is what we learned in Yeshiva Flatbush. Yes. No graven images, no, you know, homosexuals, and this way to the Holocaust photographs that we're gonna show you every fucking day of your life. Right. Which is great. And I think people should see it. Even if you know, we were I think a little too young when they showed us. Maybe now it's third grade we were like in first grade where we oh, like had yeah. the yoma show uh you know assembly where they right. showed us the films darling it was right. terrifying but first of all yeshiva flatbush uh, yeshiva of flatbush has changed and they has. have evolved okay. of the yeshivas they have evolved one of the more well because they were great when i was i mean it was a great school when yeah. I was minus the stoning of the homosexual well no darling you know if you had depending on the teacher it was like you know yes and who knew i wasn't gay when i wasn't out until i was in high school when i went to performing arts high school on 46th street you yeah. know but yeah but I, I i wish i could figure out a way to kind of rationalize to kind of bring the worlds together because if you're my sisters you kind of go like oh yeah my brother and they love me they quote unquote love me yeah you know it's like air quotes like i love you right, right. which isn't hilarious that's a joke already where's the where's the i love you more right. i love you right but you know my sisters and and i love them back but you know they don't really kind of they don't understand and do you have I have two sisters, sisters. and do they adore me, you? live for Leo. They come hear me when I'm a chazan, when I do the services. Well, they come to our you house. Do services, darling. It's what sweetheart. Is that? It, it, I don't. It's not a problem for me. I found a synagogue Orthodox that yeah. accepts gay people. Do you need to be accepted? What the fuck? No, I'm sorry. Accepted. I'm just saying I'm not gonna go to one that's looking at me bad. You know, right. I'm going to one that I, 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 I that's that's fun. It, it's near. It's. I've been going there before this the rabbi came there and he's so accepting and we have we've have an orthodox shul orthodox service I used um until like COVID I used to be the chazan for 
Kol Nidre services. I do Shabbat services if, if I'm in town. Right. Uh, they love Leo. If I sponsor a kiddush, he well, comes. Well, you know, my sisters love Arnold, but they don't know Arnold. And, you know, it's like they won't, if, if he's invited when it's like at a kosher restaurant or like at even there was like a temple and he was involved. He was invited to that. But it's like at their house, like they've, he's never been invited to their house, oh. which is like a weird thing. You know? Oh, they, they never invited your, your husband to your house? To their no. house? Why? No, I don't think they want the they kids want to kids understand to oh, or to know. Wow, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, No, I mean, it's like, honestly, I get it. I understand. But it puts me in a position to go, okay, well, if that's the case, it, then, no, then how do I do this? How do I do this? I, I, I love it. And culturally, I'm the biggest Jew in the f world, you know? Especially Bring your now. husband Especially to our now, house darling. for Pesach and for and for oh, he Rosh doesn't Hashanah. Go, my, my husband doesn't want to go anywhere. <laughs> he won't go to like Madonna's house for like. I'm not kidding. He won't go to. He doesn't like to go anywhere. Well, then, then that's then you, that you set been, then you set the relationship Madonna's with your sister. Calling my husband. She's too busy. To me, that you didn't grow up Orthodox. We grew up Israeli traditional. So you you've told me that you actually adopted Orthodox, right? Which well, is what a very is so wrong I, with you. I used to uh, at the age of 12, 11, 13, used to go to synagogue because I loved the Chazan. Oh my! God. I was obsessed. Listen to this because it's what? camp. But it's that's camp. why it's one hundred percent camp. Because it's no, camp. But let me Thank finish you. this. So Thank I used you. to go there, and this, I had the whole episode. I did a whole episode on Chazanis, on cantorial singing. I saw the thing with the Chazan. I, I loved it. listening to him it was an opera you went to the opera it was and i came home got in bed with my mother and we watched elsa clinch on cnn uh, <laughs> right so on just so shabbat, you understand on what's going so that was on. shabbat it was the chazan and, and then elsa clinch and it was that was that was it my mom was in bed still my mom always got out of bed late it was i got home like at 12 o'clock she had elsa clinch on I, I i got in there but you know we watched but like i dated this guy for a minute who was you know thought he was like this you know really religious Jew and I'd say to him I don't get it and honestly he didn't live in New York so it wasn't that difficult to not date him anymore it was like <laughs> and he was kind of a bore right okay. so it didn't no love lost there <laughs> but I couldn't get I was the only thing the one compelling thing about him was that he was this really religious Jewish guy and I that was compelling understand. to you and I remember no of course you know I actually I had an Israeli boyfriend like for, I don't know, six months or something, this guy, Elon, who I would, I love this guy. He was such a great guy, Elon. He was Israeli. I think he served in the army. And there was something so sexy about having a boyfriend with um, an Israeli accent. Are you kidding? Growing up around these people and then, and they hate you and they're stoning you throwing stones at your head and then they want to fuck you. It's the most sexy thing in the world, for Christ's sake. I'm sorry, that's maybe a little <laughs> off color, but it's true. Is no, that no, no, is that good. okay to say? No, 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 it's what? great it, to say. Let it go. You know, I think so. Good no. for you. I anyway, never really clicked. Meet me in the bathroom in a few minutes, yeah, would you please? I, I never. No, um, but <laughs> <laughs> look, Neil is getting really, really nervous, but okay. you know, the, I, the, the millennial sorry about it. Um, <laughs> but Here's wait. the thing though, I don't think that you need to be accepted by any of them. Yeah. It's like they, you can do whatever you want. You can be as religious as you want or as Jewish as you want. Yes. That's their problem. I always I'm hugely say, Jewish, and I'm not. Yes. And I say, at all. I, I can, say always, we are not, we are not the chosen people. We are the choosing people. If you want to choose to make your bracha on the wine and challah, and then go watch TV, good for you. She, one woman wants to cover her hair. One wants to cover her elbows. One, one. I had a dinner with this woman to, regarding something. She covers her hair, but she wears pants. That's her choices. But say it's, what Jay Cohen does in Fire Island, what you and what you guys started in Fire Island with the Shabbat thing. Yeah, we we you, you know what happened in Fire Island, right? I don't. I mean, I know a lot F of things Island, that happened. Call it F <laughs> Island. Well, I call it F like Island. F because Island. when I was a kid, the one homosexual in the world, my aunt, my uncle who lived in the city, it was not like he left. He went to the city and he married this really cool lady who I think her daughters hate, they hated her. But anyway, and she used to have this friend, Michael Sherman, who was this gay person. He was just the most amazing. And they would call it F Island. Like, oh, okay. how is F Island this weekend? I mean, you uh, must really consider that. So as you know, J.J. Cohen makes the challahs every, yes. every Shabbat and he brings it to some celebrity. Or they In like bring, a Speedo, it's a, It's a thing. Yeah. So we, 
all the Jews that were on Fire Island, we 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 hit them. Hey, we're gonna make extra challahs. Come, we'll make the bracha. We'll make the kiddush. Right. And then go to your dinners. Then go. So people came from like the beach, their pools in shorts and speedos and tank tops. They came, it, it, you know, at yes. like six thirty. It's a beach. Right. It's a beach, and and then someone vi videotaped it. I made kiddush. Jake was wearing this outfit you can't imagine, and uh, <laughs> I, I, I I see a crop top. It was what's funny was it, it was, was, it was a, a green top. crop top that said pickle princess. P pickle princess. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Green satin shorts, and somehow when I grabbed a bunch of yarmulkes before leaving, <gasps> there was one green silk yarmulke, yeah. and he so wow. he was killing it. <laughs> he he slayed the challenge. I believe. I and believe, I, I made believe. the kiddish, and and now the camera's panning across, and all you see is just hot men in speedo shorts, this that, and everybody was like, instead of it just like, wow, these people heard kiddish and they got to eat some challah, celebrity challah, and it was a nice event. Otherwise, they never would have known it was Friday and Shabbat. But everybody was like, oh, how can you make kiddish and speedos? And Except. Can we get back to the word camp? Because yeah. to me, this is what this is all about. This is all just a lot of fun for you or something. You, I mean, like, you can't go to sleep at night thinking like, oh, I'm such a good boy. I'm such a good boy because I did Kiddush tonight. I can't believe I have that mitzvah. Can you really? A hundred percent. Congratulations, Doug. What do you put we, filling on every morning? And I put on tefillin every yeah. morning. I don't even know where my tefillin are. <laughs> I put on tefillin every morning because it reminds me, first of all, it tells you moments of restrict to, to restrict Shema Israel, you know, which is Hero Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one, oneness, everything is one. Are you oneness. wearing a harness and a ball gag at the no, same time? That, like, what? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that's no, late. I wear my tallest. That's when you're watching. I wear my tallest, which my husband bought me. <laughs> okay. And I put my tool on every morning. And then uh, we make, I, I felt so good. We, we gave 50 or more Jewish people that were on an island a, 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 a flavor of Shabbat. How great! That's incredible. I suppose it was great. I guess no. At the uh, this one, the central tenet of uh, many religions is camp, as a high I, degree so. of camp. I will, and I think that's a little bit of what draws I will, I will some people back story. to it. I I will tell you a story that is insane. So I'm also a chazan, and back in the day, I used to because I was on Howard Stern's show once, and we used to sing, and someone mm -hmm. reached out and can you do a wedding for us? And I got my clergy license. <gasps> I'm able to, so I'm able to marry. And so listen to this. One. And I have the robe and the hat and the talus full drag. And um, and we one time this woman called up and said, "Hi, my daughter's getting married, and there there's some kind of Greek Orthodox something, and we want to have some something Jewish in the chuppah too. We'd like to have you do a part of the ceremony." I go look. Um, I'm not interested. They gave me a prize. I said, so, so she's Jewish, I said. Mm -hmm. And I, I went. And um, I wore my whole thing. And then their priest, I, I said, I'll do the blessings, but I'm not signing anything. I'm just, just to give a flavor and some, some Jewish energy to this couple. The priest came. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't usually curse, but from RuPaul's Drag Race, Fuck my drag. Uh, this priest She was in with full uh, on vesting. Oh, we're gonna get so much and trouble. And the Christ, <laughs> the, the cross with the with with this hot Jesus on it. No. And the hat with the whole that thing in You will never Jesus. be able to, darling, you will never be able to compete with all that. You can't. I could you not. Could not. I, I said to him. I said yeah, to him, and then it was really funny, and, we, and it was it was a very funny ceremony. And you know what? It brought Mashiach energy. You saw two different. The whole Mashiach energy thing is so it's like fetch. Like, could you stop trying to make like Mashiach energy happen? <laughs> What well, he doesn't know it's that. Not, I don't know. I can't, I can't help it. What's I just fetch? that was mean. Now you know in Mean Girls, fetch. No, he does thing, not. I don't mean know Mean Girls. Do you know Mean Girls? I know Mean oh, thank Girls. Of course. <laughs> no, I can't I help it. It's the just reference. a joke. It's that a joke. was a yeah. joke. I do love Mashiach energy. Yeah. But, yeah. Okay. Go, um, go. Uh, You'll explain it to him later. Uh, no, He'll be like, that I, I, uh, bitch. I, it, you saw Sorry. two. You saw two. <laughs> you never saw Mean Girls. Excuse me. Go home tonight. Do yourself a favor. You will like this movie. Really. Yes. Are you crazy? But to get back, I'm telling you, but you felt it. This, this, there was such a tension in the room between this this Jewish family and this non-Jewish family, and we brought it together. I, I made jokes in the chuppah with the priest. It was so much fun, and it was it was amazing. Okay, Mashiach so how do you how do you, you bridge ordained. the gap? Because you're saying yeah. this, but you're walking around with an etoile juif. 
Shmata. That's right. That's one way. Tichel, not shmata. Tichel. It's a tichel. <laughs> What's a tichel? Um, tichel is what you call uh, when they cover their head with a with a shmata. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You know, I don't, honestly, that? <laughs> it's a good question because I don't. I don't honestly. I don't consciously need to bridge a gap. You know, I don't. I don't. I don't believe in God. I don't believe in that. And and I and I uh, and and weirdly, I love some of the things about being Jewish. I love the whole attitude towards um, like education mm-hmm. and uh, and the, and the, and the, cause you know, a lot of the, I'm not kidding. A lot of the people that I grew up around were so like pious and then in business, they were so, you know, none of them paid yeah. their taxes or so, you know, it was just yeah. gross. Right. Or they do the most horrible things and then they hide behind this kind of right. piety and I don't, but that's not what Judaism is about to me. To right. me it's about, being a good person and and I did I did learn all of those lessons and they're beautiful beautiful lessons yep. from the Chumash and the Torah and from the all of it like we learned to speak we learned to read Aramaic mm-hmm. not just Hebrew but like it was a real kind of mind fuck that 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 right. education no but listen you're being when you're young and you're developing you're learning Hebrew uh, Aramaic the Gemara you you're learning Gemara. All this now. it really develops your mind as a matter of fact like my husband right you know, the other day, I think this is what it is. Like, I keep jumping down his throat. Like, anything he says about this thing going on now, and it's like, no, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, it's like, every, let me stop you right there, you know? And he's like, darling, I'm just talking. And I'm like, okay, but it's bordering on anti semitic You know, it's like, right? I'm just, right, right now, I'm extremely, extremely, you know, tense. My back is up, you know? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. 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 It's what's happening in Israel is insane. Um, I I kind of this this podcast people whenever they see me they always say I love your podcast it just makes my mind turn off for an hour right and so I never really we did one episode discussing the war yes, and all that right. and but but I mean I have Isaac Mizrahi on I I want to talk about Isaac Mizrahi first of all the name of your book I am yeah which is so amazing well read it because I'm not kidding it's not a bad book I will I want to be a writer so that's badly a review. I, that's it's what not I think I'm going to do it's not a bad book. <laughs> no, but I I am I am is the strongest thing in the world you can say that's from God know, when darling. when when Moses went to the bush yes and he said who are you he says I am that I am and if you want to create anything that you are you say I am Happy I am. And also La Caja Fall. Can we go straight to La Caja Fall? <laughs> Moses to La Caja Fall. We can. I am what I am and what I am needs no excuses. It was, darling, it was more a reference of La Caja Fall than it was to Moses, but now I'm going to use the Moses thing. Moses is there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. it, Moses was originally Moses. There. Moses. The best comedy, original comedy came from the, from the Torah. It was a very funny thing that was like written in the Torah. Mm-hmm. That I don't remember, but <laughs> well, I'll give you the the, the, the the funniest thing is when the Jews crossed the the um, the Red Sea, the Red the Dead sea. sea that parted, right? The, the Dead Sea mm-hmm. parted. They just saw their enemy swooped in yes, by this they thing, did. and then now now they're on the other side, mm-hmm. and they all turn to Moses and goes, "There's no food. You brought us here to die. We could have died in Egypt." <laughs> right. Literally, that's what's how it's written. <laughs> so there it is. You have to just look for it. Right. Um, you you still uh, you, you still you still design or not? Everybody, you know. We, I was lucky. I have a friend who was a designer, yeah. and he worked on his he had his own label, and then he went to work for Bill Blast, and then he mm-hmm. worked for J. Crew, and everything's just this glamorous, amazing world of fashion. Do you feel it, Grandpa? It's obviously no. in you. You're creative. You see a dress. You know how to do it. I have but- a collection. I have a few different like licenses now, and I work on those with a very large group of designers you know i work okay. on a big design staff but I, it's not like doing fashion shows or couture it just isn't and i but i did that for a good 12 years of my life yeah and then before i did you know i worked for perry ellis and i worked for calvin klein i worked for all these different designers and made fashion shows and you know kind of have an understanding of it through them but um but now i don't know it just it isn't that type of thing that kind of fashion yeah it's not important to me personally i don't care about that stuff anymore you know and it's embarrassing because it's like people call and they want to talk to me about it and it's like i don't care you know it's like i (laughs) can do the interviewer or like i can listen to them it's like okay are you finished are you finished are you finished about the net ball it's like are you finished uh uh, uh." you know i don't really i don't think about it It it's not what it was it's not no and you know what can i tell you when you're in it you have to be like 
in it. You have to go out every damn night yep. and stay out and look and see what they're wearing. And it's fun. When, when it's fun, it's fun. And then it stops being fun. Yep. It really does. Yeah. And then it's like, you know, eh. I By the way, uh, we live in New York City, which is an amazing place to live. And you just see the kids pulling looks. I know. That are insane. Uh, I know. Wait Paris, a minute. Can I just tell you looks. something? Wait a minute, darling. And the thing is, like, when I did it, when I did it those years that I did it, yeah. I did it. I didn't have a million stylists and young assistants coming in with prints and things. I was the one. And they worked for me and I made them make clothes. You know what I mean? It was right. not the same. And I, I don't... If someone else is coming and giving me their ideas, ah, you know, I don't care. This is what I do now. I have a design staff and we go, oh, you think the crew neck should be a little lower? Really? And that's it. Or we love this print or something. But it's not the same thing. It's okay. Not the same thing. I don't want to drag you into a designing conversation because I know it's not your jam right now. But I love you for that. Yeah, I someone, love, no, no. Did someone call you in advance no, and say, like, I, don't No, because I get him? interviewed and I can tell if they've oh. read other stuff and they... So you went to cantorial school? Tell us. Ugh. Ah, I know. I want to exactly. talk to you. You're performing That's in a place right. that I love. I Where? We love the North Shore <gasps> Performance Center in Chicago. Oh, oh it's a my great God. Love. I'm so scared of that place. Why? I don't know. Is Are they nice people? The nicest. Okay. Do you do a meet and greet? Uh, uh, maybe. Am I do doing a meet and greet? Sometimes they I bring you cookies. Greets. They bring you cookies. They bring. Are you they the... kosher? Are they glat kosher? Who, who cares? Who's going to eat know. them? But, but, but. but... <laughs> <laughs> they eat the cookie, but they're so sweet. It's a Chicago Skokie I area. I love Chicago. Darling. What are you gonna I do in the show? Tell me, what's the show? I, you know, I have a band and we do music. Cause I, you saw Les Mizrahi, right? It's the same band, it's just bigger. It's a bigger band. My band got bigger over there. And what do you thing. sing? Wow. And I sing ridiculous things. Good. I like sing what? I don't know. I sing. What do I, I sing? This Billie Eilish tune that I love. Which one? Not the Barbie one, but I'm going to work oh. on that one because I adore that one. What would I mean? I love that so song. Sad. No, I, I sing this thing called um, uh, "Everything I Wanted." It's this Billie Eilish tune. I sing. I sing. I sing. Borderline. You know the Madonna song. Borderline. Borderline. Yeah, exactly. It's a good number. Well, you just did a bar mitzvah version of it, darling. I do a really cool sort of jazz <laughs> version of it. <laughs> Drag him. Ah, Drag him. Drag it's me. not that. It's I do a whole other one. thing with it. Yeah, you know, it's really good. Under the it, board. It, it, and it involves a heavy you glock talk in the middle and tell a story while you're doing the song. Actually, you know, yes. Very Sandra uh, Bernhardt. Yes, yes, uh, yes, yes. Okay, but not exactly. Not exactly. Well, why don't you just come and see us? I would. I, if I would, in a heartbeat, if we we are traveling, well, doing our own shows, but we. we are doing some shows in like White Plains or something, or in like, you know, I don't remember when. It's like a million, there's a few shows. And then there's the Carlisle for two weeks, which is the greatest gig in the oh, world. Oh, that's what we're going to see, the, 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 Carlisle. Okay. You know, for a million dollars, I'm just telling you. <laughs> oh, it's, a, it's an expensive ticket? It, it is, but it's worth it because it's one of the great <laughs> New York things. I'm not kidding. What's what's in that, just, what's I'm, the ticket? What's the I ticket don't know. Called? I don't know. But you know what? You should go because it's worth it. Okay. It's the greatest We experience. buy tickets. We it's don't like call. going to, I'm telling you, darling, it's like going to, that's the first room that I love. It's like my the favorite. The Carlisle. The Carlisle. And it's like, um, and it's like a, like a vortex of energy. Yeah. Really. There's a, there's a sense of cabaret in that room that you really can't find a lot anymore. I saw M M Michael Feinstein. Michael Feinstein. Feinstein yeah. And I also mm -hmm. saw, I, 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 I don't remember his name, but it was Mark Vitor took me. A, a, a short, short black man. Um, <gasps> you mean Bobby Short? Bobby Short. Bobby Short was. I, saw he was, him. I was blown away. He was the greatest. The performer. greatest. I saw him a few ever times. at the Carlisle. It was, was that was years was ago. Years ago. Years I'm ago. I'm telling you, I'm not that far from you. Um, this was in the early '90s. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah. and so so you you the Carlisle. Okay. We'll we'll we'll, we'll <gasps> that's it's night. It's incredible that room. It's my. Favorite. What made you come wait. become a singer? When when did you uh, did you, know, you train your know, voice? Darling. Did you, did you take I lessons? I did. You know, I went to performing arts high school. Oh, okay. Forty six okay, 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 Street. Okay, okay. And I'm in that movie called Fame. I have like a tiny little cameo in Fame. What? I wanna, um, you mean in the movie? Yeah. What's the what's it's the cameo? Like in the beginning. I'm auditioning to get into the school and I'm wearing this kind of jester hat and a little, I'm carrying a jester staff that I made and I'm doing a monologue from As You Like It. Oh my God. Because that's what I, I did in, for Spring Drama Festival when I graduated. I was Touchstone and As You Like It. You know the Oh my God, we have to see fame. You have to see fame? Yeah, I've seen fame. It's, it's long, so it's long and great. 
It's long as hell. It's really it's long, great. but it's really good. It's an amazing. And talk about camp and talk about like the gayest thing in the I'm world. I'm gonna live forever. Totally. What's that song? It's such an it's amazing a good song. song. Oh, it's such an Irene inspiring Cara, movie. we miss we R.I.P. I loved her. I mean, I didn't know her, but I didn't <laughs> love Irene Cara. Yeah, Irene Cara. Oh my God. Oh my God. The Carl. There's so many things to her. And uh, so besides the singing. Um, oh, so I tell stories. Yeah, and I tell obviously. stories and I tell stories and that's it. Sometimes I give shit away. I, I re-gift. I do like a whole thing where I re-gift stuff because oh. I get all this stuff. Do you get stuff? And then it's just it just it let just me tell grows. you. What we get. Let me tell you. They what we get, get stuff and then they give it to me. Let me tell you what we get. Okay. <laughs> so when when in, during the summer when Leo's on the beach posting, they send us um, from Charlie or from whatever these whatever the brands. Hoping that he posts a picture with it, and that's so he gets, he gets boxers and and underwear and and uh, and 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 the 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 the, 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 the sh small bathing suits. And me, they send pickles. Ah, oh, I get pickles. Nice. I get pickles. That's hilarious. So I'm not bringing them. No, I get like you know a lot of t-shirts and a lot of, but also like I get like you know magic bullets that I just I'm never going to use a magic, a magic bullet. The, 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 yeah, I gave away a magic bullet. In we go show. through them. We burn their engines out. That's how much how much how we go through the, our magic Yo, bullets. We love a magic bullet. We I make shakes and smoothies. Woo, woo, woo. My husband Every, likes a magic bullet. We love it. I love a magic bullet. And um I don't understand protein shakes in my life. <laughs> what if just about just eating some cheese? Now like, here's some cheese. I can get no, into. you know, exactly. Protein shakes. No, we love it. Almond milk. Leo Leo can really? kill it back in okay. the kitchen. All he right. can give it in the kitchen. <laughs> Leo Leo can make a smoothie that really just you feel. It's giving juice. You theory. know what you feel like? Let me tell you what you feel like when he right. makes our smoothie. If you say Mashiach energy, I'm going to fucking like <laughs> wring your neck. <laughs> it's not not Mashiach energy, but we have our, we have our smoothie. Like, like, do you know when, when like, when, a, when there's a baby and they, they give it a bath and they yes. wrap it around, they bring it out oh, to it. And it smells and so good. Like, oh, and everybody's like, oh, say goodnight to, to, to Michael. Everybody goes, to, to, to. so we, we. I thought you were going to say like Rivka. I know. Like, so we, we, I said, right, I should have come like a Daniel, at least Daniel. See, <laughs> at right. least, sir. Right, and then we get like we, we get into our into our like... sofa, which we call the nest, and now we're all clean and yummy, and you know, and uh, and we watch. Right now, we're deep into Sex in the City season four. We started from season one, episode one. Have and you come across these... my little cameo in Sex in the City? Because I'm in one little episode. Yes, I think we did see. We that. did. Yeah, what season? Well, what, what season, season was it? Four? Maybe it's later. I don't maybe, know. Could be later. Maybe later. Wait, darling. But then he makes we? our smoothie, oh, and we're smoothie. sitting there okay. with a the smoothie, like about? a little baby, all yummy in our blankets. Is this late at night? Late at night, yeah. Okay. I it's, thought a smoothie was like a morning thing. No, we also but like. But you have to be like, you know, like one of the Real Housewives of L.A. No, no, like, no. They're you just like. Just come from running. No, but he makes it with smoothie, love. You know? I, I take the <laughs> scoop, put it in with the water, shine, right. and done. Exactly. And just for the for the protein. Arnold has been making this incredible thing. I love his name is Arnold. His name is Arnold. I know, and he's the biggest. He's like, he's not Jewish. Jewish. How long have you been married? We've been married since 2011. That's something. Wow. Since they made it national Love. law, we, wow. we got. That's when we got. And married. how did you meet? We met on the street. We met <gasps> like it was a pick, total pickup. It was before. Walk us it was through it. No, darling. It was before phones, and it was like, and we met. I, we made eye contact. I was walking my dog. We made eye contact across Fifth Avenue. No. Yeah, 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 it wasn't yeah, yeah. even across like 12th Street. It was across Fifth Avenue. And he ran over me talking. And it's like, and you know, you just feel somebody is good. You just feel a good energy. And we walked. It was kind of Mashiach energy. <gasps> yes. Oh, and we finally. walked around the block. And we got to my apartment. We got to my apartment, to my building. And I was like, oh, I don't have a pencil. I'd love your phone number. Why don't you go upstairs? You know, it was like a one pencil. of those. Smooth. A and pencil. You, and you, did you guys because we didn't have phones. When, when, that did was in up? 2000. That they don't two, know. Zero, By the zero, way, zero. I, I was gonna say, but I met you also once and at a, a a bar called Splash. Of course, I came over and told you how great your show was, and you and but did I who, proposition you on the spot? Because you I'm did such a not. Whore. You did not. But <laughs> but back then, at the back then at at the bars next to the. Next to the napkins, there was a little pen and like a, a small pencils. Right. You and needed the, a pen. And in now, those so days. now you have a phone number of somebody like Jim. Did I give you my phone no, number no, no, shamelessly? No, no, no. And then, and then, good luck getting that home. 
in one piece, remembering where it is, and it's not being like wet and the, the, all the, the numbers are smudged. It's so true. Who remembers that? The, but 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 it but, was a great thing when you didn't have a phone. A great thing. You oh, it was great to, when you, you left have the to come message. upstairs and you have the message and you this and he did call. Mm -hmm. Ah, the message is the good. For that. We met on the subway. Mm -hmm. We met on the sub. Nice. You know. Nice, nice. So you cruised each other across the Yes, we figured it out from across an avenue, yeah. okay? Yes. That means the energy was there. That Mashiach energy was that right was there. there. Exactly. Yeah. We cruised each yeah. other on the, on the sub, on the sex train, and I was like, boom, boom. And then at first I wasn't sure he was gay because he was dressed for an internship in very Oizgipach, Georgia. You Try know? Care okay, <laughs> you wear one... <laughs> one pair of khakis. One pair of khakis, <laughs> and I'll never fucking live it down. My husband know. was wearing khakis when we met, too, actually. See? Like, yes. See? And okay, we had three I have dates, a and he moved question. in. question. Yes. Are you not at all worried about walking around covered in Jewish stars right now? Um, good question. Uh, you know what? Um, Refresh. And by walking around. <laughs> I mean, and by walking around, he arrived at the studio. Oh come on! In <laughs> a Mercedes Benz hey, that was literally up. half the size of the block. Oh, my God. He came wow. out of there As like Adolf Eichmann, <laughs> looking, uh, I, 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 walking around. Seriously? Do you walk no, around? No, I saw you, and I was like, "Oh, there she is." I was like, "Oh, there's Modi." <laughs> Because I, I was like, oh, where's... And then I was like, is, I, why isn't she upstairs already, like, expecting <laughs> no, me? No, we were, we were like, I, I'm telling you the truth. I was so excited for this guest and and for you. And I said to, to Peril, let's just go sit outside before and let's regroup on what we want to talk with him about. Because I don't want to... I didn't want it to be some stale... And when did you get your inspiration for the dress oh, for the God, Oscars? Exactly. <laughs> oh, I know. Never. I, know, I, know. I wanted to, like... I wanted to hit it. And, uh, and, we, and it was, I, wanted, I wanted to Well, be now, good. wait a second. Where were we? Oh, about the Jewish stars and the whole thing. No, um, yeah. I mean, sadly, I, I I think it is a consideration now. You know, I it do. hundred percent. Yeah, I think it's a real consideration right now. More and I more. I see guys on the street with yarmulkes and tzitzis, and I'm I'm like, I see other people looking at them differently. Yeah. Yeah. I have been seeing that. Maybe I should wearing my yarmulke. Horrible. Horrible. But you're wearing it. Uh, yesterday, I am wearing one, it. One I the wore it for you. I love the this. Right? Mitzvah it's tank asked if I was Also, Jewish. I designed this beautiful. Yes. Um, you what? What, ha what happened yesterday? Sorry, Wait, sorry. You were talking about people looking at people on the street differently with the tzitzis and the, and yeah. the yarmulkes. And one of the guys in the mitzvah, mo mitzvah mobile yesterday oh, the asked, mitzvah mobile asked me about the, the Chabad guys that asked you to put the tefillin on. And I lied and said yes because I just wanted him, I didn't want him to think I was like an anti Semite. So do you know what, what I always say to them? Is, what? Whenever they ask, are you Jewish? I, I say to them in Yiddish, Nemad up mein Heusen and cook. Took off my pants and look. All oh, right, exactly. And, but but, but, but then, they, then they go, oh my God, it's Modi. And then they, and then they come. Wait, they so went. you met Arnold in 2000 and then you got married in 2011? Yeah. Well, wow. we were together for about six months and then we broke up. And then he went away. He moved to Santa Fe for like seven years or something like that wow. we didn't see each other and i kept <clears throat> thinking and thinking and then i was like and then of course you know your friends go oh whatever happened to that adorable and i was like really you're telling me this now he's adorable and then i started <laughs> to sort of think about him and think about him and then he moved back and that was the end of that we came he after so we would apart for about seven years well so oh. between 2000 and i would say 2007 and then he moved back in 2007 wow. we were apart for about seven minutes yeah. Can we let Isaac answer the very interesting question that I asked? Which was? Which was about your étoile jouisse yeah, on right. walking around covered in Jewish <sighs> stars. You just love saying étoile jouisse. I do. And get but over that, but it. I know. I, that's like serious. Like, that's not a joke. By now. the way, I didn't even notice that it was Jewish stars. I it's like it a design. rattan thing, but they form yes. Jewish stars. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, you know, I mean, I have to say this is what this, this is the sad thing. Is that okay? Just tell me how old you are. How old are you? I'm 53. I okay, have well, no I'm problem 62. With... I'm 62. So can I know how we were doing good? Exactly. Listen, anyway, and the thing is, like, in my early adulthood, anyway, yeah, in my childhood, I grew up watching also Sesame Street, and it was like this incredibly kind of 
beautifully integrated world, you know, in those days. And in school, I didn't think, you know, my parents would say, you know, they don't like Jews. You better watch it. Watch out. And I was like, you people are crazy. Like, are we living in the same world? I'm going to performing arts high school. And it's like, everybody is either Jewish or fucked up in some way. You know, everybody loves each <laughs> other, you know? And, um, and, and, and it was, it, what it felt, it felt like, Everybody was included. Everybody was righteous. Everybody was, you know, um, on the same level. And you did not feel anti-Semitism or racism, really. You didn't feel it, you know. It was only in like 2016 when Trump was elected that you started to actually understand that the underbelly of things, the very lowest of the low of this country, is a racist kind of a thing, you know? Right. I don't believe that it exists in the middle or the top of the country. I think it's the horrible, horrible underbelly of the country. That is how I was raised. That's what I believe. That's what I will go to my grave believing. And I hope I don't have to constrict my beliefs any further than I have already in the past, you know, sort of, what is it, since 2016, over many years. And the the past few days, you well, know what yeah. I mean? It's like yeah. constricting and constricting. And I'm getting very, I'm getting like, wait a minute. Because, you know, it was, in the face of all of that horror that went on, you know, um, and by the way, that lady, what's her name? The crazy lawyer. She's just admitted to like sort of falsifying <laughs> votes in Georgia. And she's going to have to make an apology to the people of Georgia and pay $9,000 and have six years of probation. Really? What's her name? What is that lady's name? Phyllis. No, know, whatever. Yeah. But I'm saying it's like, you know, from that moment in 2016, it was a sharp decline in 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 in, in relations, in in, in right. hu human relations in this country. A sharp, sharp decline. And some people felt they were getting this country back. And it was it's a sickening yeah, thing yeah. for yeah. a people who for a person like me who was raised in a very nice kind of environment. And um and this whole Sesame Street thing mm -hmm. where we were taught that it was like, you know, uh, this kind of uh, beautiful yeah. kind of cityscape with birds and trees mm -hmm. and, you Stuff know, grouches. And yeah, exactly. You know, that's what we thought. We thought we were all neighbors. Everybody's a good neighbor. You love everybody. Not so much, you know, not so and much. And in the past few days. And in the past few days, so. it's even more so. And, you know one thought in 2016, like, oh my God, like, listen, this is not that different from what was going on in Weimar Republic and, you know, in those gay bars and in those, you know, those whatever it was, right? And 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 now it's like even scarier yeah. because because of what's going on yeah. in the world. Yeah. It is. It is. But I mean, I, I've had people take off Jewish stars to be like, don't let the kids walk around with Jewish stars. Mm -hmm. Don't let the kids <gasps> walk around with yarmulkes. Mm. Yeah, it's That's sick. So it's sad. really scary. Yeah. Um, I I believe the only real solution is Mashiach. Really? I really believe it. I really believe it. Wait, so you're well, looking to have... Well, that's a crazy it's, it's, thing that it, scares me just crazy. a little bit. It's not crazy. It's what the entire religion is built on. I know. Well, I'm just Torah telling you. Is, is, every prayer I we am say the biggest is bring... Nihilist or something. I don't know yes. what to call myself. I don't I, I don't believe in anything about, after history death. Just you die itself. and you die and you go to dust, darling. Dust to dust. Your body goes to dust. Your Everything neshama, goes your dust. soul goes to whatever it's got to go to. Well, when we know, then we'll we'll <clears throat> celebrate it or something. We don't know that. Okay. Your soul, know your that. soul goes to Fire Island. Your soul, <laughs> your, your soul goes to Fire Island. <laughs> <laughs> Island. To My soul goes Island. right into the Carlisle. I go right into the, right <laughs> into the mural of the Carlisle. <laughs> I want I want my picture in that mural. Bobby Short has a picture in the Yes, mural. he does. He got someone to pretend they were Vertez and do a little <laughs> Fake Bobby Short painting. I need someone to Did do. Did you ever that. see the, the episode in Frasier when they put his picture in the uh, in the in, that, in the in the restaurant they always eat? And he was no he was so upset uh, about it. I need to watch more Frasier. Frasier's I the guess. best show ever. <laughs> it is. It, I know it's. What well, it's back? The, it's back. They're rebooting You're it. it. No, darling, it was the best show me. ever. What? All in the family, was best it? show in the world. No, I mean, how dare you? <laughs> All in the family and Frasier in the same sentence, darling. Both. Are you serious? The best shows no, 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 ever. No, no, no. I'm sorry. All in the family Wait, is on one question. level, and then and then Frasier, the writing on Frasier is genius. Which genius. What would you say is like some of your favorite? Shows? What's your, your favorite, favorite show shows? then? 
besides Golden Girls. Uh, Hello. Okay, Great. but then it's like, da-dum, dum, da dum, dum. Here comes a set up oh, punchline. But, but I could but watch darling, for hours. I could watch for hours. Me? And you laugh your balls off. It's the hundred percent. What am I? Oh, the Gilmore Girls. Really? I live for the Gilmore Girls. Really? And I, I live for the Gilmore Girls. I don't know why. Is it the Ivy League sort of like I don't know. Like it's preppy. the whole Stars Hollow. I just want to live in that little village and Stars That's Hollow. That's so interesting. Have like, you know, watch pumpkin that? I never watched festivals. That. And it's very, very, it's very, very, very white. cozy. I'll it's a very cozy. very white, that show. It's okay. so awesome. It's extremely white. And that's fine. I'm, we we you know, watched it. What's the, the Irish one? They don't want to come for them. They don't want to come for me. <laughs> I love them. I love the Paladino Shermans. <laughs> What's the no, Irish Sherman Paladino? Dinos. Dairy Girls. Dairy Girls. Eh, oh I can't God. understand what they say. So That's the most like, fun of it. They just kept saying yeah. the F word over and over. everything was just F word, F word. And so you don't say the F word like you say F word? I don't like to say it. For no, I'm, okay. He'll say Darling, it. I'll say, say it, it, but not like, I don't say it on stage. I don't like on the, on the podcast. She I, blows it up all the time with the F word, but I don't like to. It's not a, I, I, one of my, one of my rabbis, one of my rabbi, uh, Yoko Yisrael Gross told me, no nivel pe. Don't, don't, keep it clean. It's good. One of my best friends is yeah. Israeli. This woman called Myra Kalman. She's one of my best friends. I know Myra. She lives right upstairs for me. Oh. I love her so much. How do you and know her? She's from Israel, right? Yeah. She is from Israel. 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 And, um, and you know, and I've never been to Israel. I've never been. What? Af pa'am. Lo hayiti shama af pa'am. No. Ken. No. No. Ken. I've been four times. I've never been. That is insane. When you get I'm, when you get over, I'm just gonna go have a <laughs> break. I mean, you get over. I'm I'll gonna come back. okay. I'm I, know, fine. I've re I know. I've re I know. I've re I've re connected. I know. I know. Bring That's your crazy. show there when the war's over. Yeah. <gasps> they would but anyway, love they would you. Eat you up and alive. her children. They go there constantly. They go there four times. They have an apartment in Tel Aviv. They have family there. I love their family. They're so hilarious. Myra and you know, is. and the way they just they're like, honey, it is so much more kind of. Do you want Degage to go? or whatever it is in New York? Then she's like, honey, they are so fatalistic. They, you know, they'll have sex with you in two, like, you know, it's like they just think they're gonna die tomorrow. Yeah, so yeah, they're yeah. eating yep. everything, they're I, drinking everything, they're smoking, yo, taking every it's drug. What I said to you. It's true. And so where is this? Where is it? Which, I, what? That's I'm, that's what I was expecting from you. What? I was expecting this like really hard living guy. What are you talking about? I was expecting you to be as fatalistic as those. No, those, those Mashiach's kids. coming. He's here. Are you insane? <laughs> First of all, I have a prediction right now. This is my prediction. When Isaac Mizrahi goes to Eretz Yisroel, he's never coming back. <laughs> yeah. He's never. Wait, I have something. He, I, let me finish my. This is. My, I'm keeping the prediction going. This will be on tape. He will call whoever he has to sell his apartment here, find some place <laughs> in Israel. No, if, it's, it's, listen to me. Will... Myra's daughter, Lulu, right, who's a really close friend of mine. She's also, and I haven't seen, she goes to me, darling, if you go to Israel, try to get like airlifted in for like a few hours and then like airlifted out and like taken right back to Rome or wherever you're coming. Like, that's what she said to me. She was like, you're not going to do well in Israel. That's what you're going to kill it. Why? If you what set it up right, mean? you'll kill it. No, you no, no, no. She it. means me because I'm, I'm so like, if I go to, Pennsylvania, I freak out. Like if I leave New no, York no, City to Tel go Aviv. to like F Island, I'm freaking. Tel Aviv, Tel Aviv, which Leo says is is basically yes. Miami mm -hmm. and New York City had a baby. I can't and it's bear Florida. I can't bear my. I'm sorry. I can't. No, I'm not going to say that. You can say what that. What can I fucking say? You can say anything you, you want. You can say whatever you, you want. You have that too, I don't though. like hot things. I don't like hot temperature places. I don't like, like New York in the summer, I like have to lie down most of the time. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I have to literally go away and, and lie down. That's what I have to do. I'm serious. You're such a hardcore New Yorker. You're like, such a hardcore New Yorker. And, and I was I also until Leo came into my life. Leo, Leo on our- Where are you from? I grew up in Florida. <laughs> oh, you did So listen, on my on our fifth year oh, it's together, so humid. It's on so our much, fifth it's so... year together, we're in New York. Mm -hmm. It's freezing. It's a winter that was freezing, and Leo says, "We don't. We, this, this doesn't have to I be it. it. This doesn't have to be the situation." I love it. And he I says, "Love it." I and then wish... we started Airbnb in Florida, and like for months at a time. <laughs> really? Oh, I love the cold weather. It's so. Just you like I don't know being it's... cozy and buttoned up. And I don't know. Up. I like being civilized. Okay, I don't like being uncivilized. Right? Oh, I'm uncivilized. I don't like being sweaty and, and sh I don't know. The first <laughs> so gross. Winter, I like we to went be... down to Florida. The Florida in him came out. 
Wow, you go to Publix and flip flop. I one never time. saw. <laughs> I do like Publix. I have to say, Publix, Publix is amazing. Publix is amazing. It's, Publix is amazing. For shopping is a pleasure. Sponsor it's amazing. Us. I do like. I Publix. love Publix, and uh, but he. But you're such a hardcore New Yorker. Like, how have you seen the city change in the last? A lot. Like, what are some of the things that you, kind of are. Because the city is not the same. No. From no. what I hear. Well, for one people. thing. I've lived here for eight years now. Can I tell you? One really, really sad thing is, you know, it used to be like a 24-hour situation. Right. You COVID cannot get. COVID no, 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 no. It's yeah, way. Yeah. It started dying. It started dying. You can't get, you can't get like even the simplest little cheese souffle <laughs> past midnight. Just, you know. No, I'm serious. Like you can't <laughs> get anything. Cheese. <laughs> Waiting for a hamburger. <laughs> no, no, I'm saying I don't. Tuna melt. Well, a really. So well, okay. I mean, do you want to wow. know what my barometer for that was? What? When Vaselka stopped being oh, 24 hours. Oh, that is. Can I give you my, Shonda I give you my for the goyim, darling? Can I give you my Shonda barometer for the goyim? What? Before I, I bought That's a place I was like, on the Lower East Side. I lived on 11th between first and second. Half a block from from Second Avenue Deli, which oh, I used to go to darling, after the Comedy Cellar. Me. Two in the morning. It Two in the morning. Me. It killed me. And when now they it's closed, somewhere else. It's like in the It's 30s. all over. And it's yeah. still amazing. And it's still the amazing. best food in the world. But they close at nine. I, I call know. Jack. I go, Jack. Oh, I know, or eight. darling. It's wrong. I call the, the, the owners. The owners and what about the, what about the Carnegie Deli? What about like, you know, every I've never been a Carnegie guy. Well, it's I was, gone. Second it's gone. Avenue Deli was my thing. They're still open. They still deliver. They, But the vibe of just going 11 at night to the Second Avenue Deli. Pickles and blah and poo and cha. The other thing that's missing is lunch as a, as a, as a subject. You know, now it's like Ooh. chopped or something or like. Oh, it's oh become, yeah, that's it's used it's to be. Depressing. It's darling. It used wow. to be like lunch at La Grande or lunch. something. Oh, well, the that you want to call it power lunch? Go ahead. But like, yeah, just lunch. It was forget power. It was just lunch, darling. It was lunch. And now it's like here's your trough of salad. Exactly. Go eat in your cubicle like a farm animal. Or like at the Four Seasons or Michael's. I mean, it was a huge. Or Michael's on 54th Street or 53rd Street. Yeah, I love Michael's. Oh my God. So yeah, it's no longer the 24 hour city that never sleeps. It's the, but just let me tell you something. It's not not. You, Leo can hit the phone and food shows up. All hours of the night. You know, Arnold, I don't know how to Me order neither. food. I can't order food. Me I can't do it. I'm, my husband will order my dinner tonight because I can't. I'm, he's, I'm alone. Same. He will order dinner from Literally. Bridgehampton. Same. He will order because I don't know how to from do it. Bridgehampton. From Bridgehampton? I swear to God, yes. What are you, Sometimes Halston getting lobbyists flown Halston in? Halston in? No, 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 no. no. He will, he will, because I can't, I don't know how to use the You do know. You just don't I want don't. to have to deal with it. That's, maybe not. You, maybe not. That's maybe the, not. That's the thing. I've never had an Uber. I've never called my own Uber. I've been in an Uber once with you and we did a, and we did still a post. traumatized we did no we did like an, a funny instagram post about me being in an uber because i've never been in an uber I, i'm not, i can uber i, know I don't that. like the idea of ubers i don't like the thought of obsessed ubers. with uber i need what a taxi like? that's the other thing you go like oh. this yeah. i was the queen no. of taxis darling i held i had like parties and tax i was a taxi i had parties and animal taxis. i was a taxi animal darling <laughs> so that's fun. what i was i used to be sick in taxis i was happy in taxis yeah i had sex and it was the greatest thing in the world it's so sad the taxis aren't i love uber yeah. Well, when you I step into a taxi. a taxi now, it's like you feel like you're visiting someone in a corrections department. <laughs> like they have <laughs> right. the plastic right, right, right. cage around <laughs> you, and you're like, "Am yeah. I like Hannibal oh Lecter, or am God. I just trying to get?" <laughs> so they're just, uptown. they're just taking. They're just. It's not the Garden of Eden, darling. New York City it, is a dangerous. Yeah. I Place. still take yellow taxis for the record. <laughs> I do too. If it's if, going if by it's, and it's I going see by it, and I didn't order my Uber yet, I pick uh, up my. But hand imagine, and go in. like, there was always one guy. I remember. By. Imagine this, darling. Remember when I remember. they had the seats and they were huge oh, in well, the back? Th what about that? The and checker taxis yes. with the seats that were those. You could fit a ball gown yeah. in the back seat, like uh, two ball a gowns. Ball gown. A ball gown and a cheese Literally. Oh, it was so fabulous. No, but there I, used to be there used to be these massive um, and the black cars, the 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 the, the big. Um, the Continentals, those massive, the, the cars that. Well, you know, they don't have car services anymore. They no. used to have like ready to roll. Or right. 777777. Seven, 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 you know, like seven, seven, Liza yeah, Minnelli yeah. would call a ready to roll. It was so great. Yeah, it's. <laughs> that's not, it's not horrible. It's the, 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 the rats and the just. Um, the rats. New York City is still New York City. It always had rats. Darling, New York City always had rats. It's still New York City, though. They had more rats when I was a kid. When I was a kid, it was squalid in New York City. Really? Yeah. Yes. And then it had this big kind of gentrification and now it's kind of like you know 
teetering on the edge, and I don't mind. I don't mind. I do mind. It needs to find itself. Yeah, it, ne bit. it needs to get it together a little bit. Um, we don't want to keep you. Are you busy? I, I have to go. I'm I have sorry. to go. So let's wrap this up. I'm having you. an ice cream thing at Uptown at this I place called come. Ample oh, Hills cream. Creamery. Okay, so let's wrap this up. All right. I, tell them where they can see you and buy expensive tickets to, to at your Where can they show. see me next? Well, in Skokie, Illinois, and in Grace Lake, also Illinois, which are near Chicago. Mm -hmm. And somehow I got like a lot of shit online for saying that it was near Chicago, but it is near Chicago. And they're great places, like you said. They are amazing. And you can go to my website, December 1st, somewhere at Stony Brook, New York. Okay. But go to Chicago and what's your website? first. What's your website? My website is helloisaac.com. It's okay. oh. a good website. How do you spell Isaac? There's a billion ways to spell Isaac. I S A A C. Two I S A A C. A -A -C. Okay. <clears throat> the only way I've ever seen Isaac spelled. I've seen it spoken. Oh, and my podcast. Of course. Which you should come on. I'll be happy to. Podcast. Because I do prepare for podcasts and I do ask you really boring questions about going to cancer school. Okay. I will. I'll answer. It's called? called Hello Isaac. It's all yeah. branded, darling. It's like Mashiach energy, only Hello Isaac. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And by the way, maybe I'm the Mashiach. Did you ever consider you that? Are, maybe Rihanna is the Mashiach. Maybe, like, me, I'm serious. Me. It starts with me, M E. You are me. You are yourself, me, Mashiach energy. I love it. Which is actually available on my uh, merch. Uh, go to modilive.com. You can get Mashiach energy uh, hats and yarmulkes, which I brought you one. And you. Um, more important, I am. This is airing. I don't know. Okay. Brussels. There's a few tickets left in Brussels and Charlotte, North Carolina, Atlanta, Milwaukee. and what? Milwaukee. Milwaukee. This and all the other big cities that you've been asking for, Boston. Uh, those are all coming soon. Maybe by the time this airs. Yeah, there's we're, a slew of cities. There's coming. a slew of cities. The big tour's coming out. We're just waiting to announce it when it's a little, a, a little lull in insane news. Mm -hmm. Um, and modilive.com and um and just be the friend that brings the friends to the comedy show. Now more than ever, people are addicted to their phones. They can't stop looking at it. Make sure you get a bunch of tickets to shows, even if it's not mine, to Isaac's show. Be the friend that brings the friends to a comedy show and they need the break. They need just a few moments to just <sighs> laugh and then they can go back to their phones um or i like, am if you're me cable television you know just like broadcast like david muir by the way like <laughs> david <Muir. laughs> love david muir <laughs> david if you're listening call me okay <laughs> sorry thank you so much for coming i really appreciate I adore it thank you, you very much hello isaac Goodbye, isaac.